Okay, here's a short one that I found in the stack, next stack out of my box. Uh, I'll try to read this to you. It's a little hard to read my own writing. Probably goes back about, about 50 years. Anyway, it says, A field of vision scanned the universe. At the back of this field, an eye. The eye reflected the light and funneled its sight into a forceful mind. The mind knew the universe and saw that it was good. Six days' labor had not gone unrewarded. Just left of nowhere, and three thoughts passed yonder. Adam awoke, and the seventh day dawned. Yeah, that's a, a little bit about this. Uh, back when I was around that age, uh, a few years before I got married, and somewhere in the middle of uh, uh, college, um, I uh, was interested in science fiction, and I saw a program called Worlds... Uh, and rebellion. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, it was all about how the Bible has proof that there are people living on other planets. And I thought, hey, that's freaking cool. People living on other planets and the Bible says so. Well, all right. So um, I, um, I sent for a booklet and uh, then they had my address. And uh, Mr. Hauser of the Seventh-day Adventist showed up with the booklet and with the offer of a home study course. And my parents, who were seeking direction in life, uh, they... Uh, uh, latched right onto that and we did a home study course and went through many books of the Bible uh, over the course of many many weeks once a week uh, taking our homework that we'd done and sharing our our uh, what we'd written about it to with Mr. Hauser uh, and it was uh, it was actually very interesting. I ended up uh, either before or after that at some point reading the entire Bible from cover to cover, yes, even Leviticus, and uh, particularly liked uh, uh, Revelation, of course, that's the science fictionist part of the Bible. It's just warped. I love it. Anyway, you should read it. I mean, it's it's good literature, if nothing else. Anyway, uh, but, um, but anyway, uh, this was written about that time when I was trying to take my sensibilities of being a 20 year old or 18 or 21 or wherever I was um, all of that rebellious nature and seeking new ways and throwing away the old and finding my own direction and still tying that in with the religion of my parents in some way and um, this little bit of updating Genesis was uh, was my attempt at, uh, uh, at modernizing uh, the perspective of of the Bible and making it something more pertinent to that modern age 50 years ago. Uh, that's it. We'll see you again next time and find out what's in my memento box next.